All right, when I was 11, uh, my family moved to Brazil. This was before internet, or before PC games got interesting. I didn't speak the language, didn't have any friends, but the house that we moved into had an abandoned 55 gallon steel drum, a lot like this one. Getting really bored, I decided I was gonna turn this 55 gallon steel drum into a submarine. My plan was to put a, a plexiglass window on one end. This side was all open, so I was going to uh, seal it with a plastic trash bag. I was gonna have my legs stick out through the plastic with fins on to move, obviously, and then have a uh, garden hose up to the surface for air. Later on in life when I started flying planes and drones and you know, getting, a few getting a few scuba certifications, uh, you realize, and I realized that I would have died, so. Anyway, today I'm gonna be showing you an experiment that you can do at home to demonstrate the power of atmospheric pressure. And we're gonna be crushing this 55 gallon steel drum using a little bit of water and just atmospheric pressure. So I've already put in one gallon of water and uh, I lit a fire underneath this barrel. We're just waiting for it to boil. Once it starts boiling, that water vapor is gonna push out all the air that's inside this container. And I need to take this off of there. It's gonna push all that air out of the container. We're gonna seal it off dump it into this bucket of ice water, and what that's gonna do is that water vapor is gonna return to liquid water, and hopefully, if we do this right, the atmospheric pressure is gonna crush this, and we're gonna get some really good high-speed shots with a high-speed camera that I bought that I said I wasn't gonna buy, but I can't help myself. I think we're getting close. It's got that, it's got that hissy, hissy uh, water boiling sound. I need ice and gloves. Ugh. So to make this work, we've got to cool it off really quick. We need all that water vapor to condense back into liquid water really quick. Sorry, I'm, I have terrible cardio. What that's gonna do is cause a huge vacuum in this leftover space and hopefully crush this really violently. All right, high speed, camera is ready. Try to do this without burning myself. Ha! Hot, okay. I gotta go quick. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. There we go. Gotta go quick. Come on, baby. No, no, no. Kevin, get back. Come on. I'm a little scared of it. Oh my gosh, holy crap, <laughs> yes. It was even better than I thought. Science. Let's check that replay. Filming at 1500 frames a second. Holy cow. Oh wow, look at that water. Yes, love it. Probably save that before I. Oh, I love this camera. Look how absolutely demolished this is. Look at that. I mean, there's just no way that you could ever undo that. That's the best lawn art I have ever made. <laughs> it's amazing. It looks like I just crushed a Coke can. I'm curious if there's any pressure left. If you do do this experiment, I uh, really, really recommend uh, longer sleeve protection, proper adult supervision, and uh, maybe a really good life insurance policy. Oh. Oh, wow. I wish I could show you this inside. It looks so cool. I've got another barrel, so yeah, uh, we should do another one. Now, this one's got a little bit of gunk on the bottom of it, which makes me a little worried that it won't uh, boil very well. Ah, Kevin, poop somewhere else. So atmospheric pressure is 14.7 pounds per square inch. At 55,000 feet, the atmospheric pressure is so low that the human body needs a pressure suit to stay alive. As atmospheric pressure decreases, uh, the boiling point of water also decreases. At 55,000 feet or higher, you need a pressure suit because the blood in your body will start to boil. 
I'm not sure how that's relevant here, but it just felt like something I should bring up. I don't know. Come on. This is a nerve-wracking couple of seconds. This has got to be how bomb technicians feel when a bomb doesn't explode like it's supposed to. All right, didn't do it right. Pretty good vacuum on it, just wasn't enough. All right, third time's the charm. I chiseled a little bit more gunk out. This is the one. All right, high speed's on. I hear it. Come on, crush. First one was just so easy. Part of the issue was the gunk at the bottom and my fire had gotten kind of low and I didn't realize it. So it wasn't just, just wasn't generating enough heat. There we go, big steam. This is gonna make me really nervous. Yeah. Oh, 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 shoot. It's a little dangerous here. Oh, man. Shoot. Ah, hot water. It's really bowing in. I don't know why it's not giving. Probably can't hear it, but I, I can hear it cracking. Oh, the anticipation. Kind of feel like if I tapped it with a hammer, it'd just give. Do I do this one more time? It's so close to going. Here we go. I got it open. I'm surprised at how dirty I've gotten doing this, but I guess when you wing it. It's gonna be done with this, but I burned my hand pretty good on that uh, last one, so it pissed me off. I'm gonna do, give it one more shot. It is really nerve wracking putting this piece on when it's steaming up properly. It just makes me feel like it could explode so quickly. All right, got the last little bit of ice that I have, hopefully to give just a little bit more of an edge. If I don't get this lined up, then it builds up pressure, and then I get hit with hot steam, and it burns me. This is the one. Oh, oh. come on, come on. I gotta tell you, that is really disappointing. Well, that's not a very exciting end. Okay, just gonna see if I can incentivize it a little bit. Oh man, it's got a leak. Well, that sucks. That was a lot more work at the end there than it should have. There's a tiny leak on the other side right here where the two pieces come together. And that's, uh, that's what's keeping it from, that's what's keeping it from crushing. Uh, if you're gonna try this, be sure you've got good protection for your hands because I got a pretty good burn here on my thumb. Two, be sure that your, uh, your steel drums are sealed. Be sure your water's cold. Huge thank you to my patrons on Patreon. Uh, you guys are a part of me being able to potentially do this full time. Thanks for watching, see you in the next one.